hello everyone and welcome back to my channel so today we are going to learn how to draw different perspective of daisy flower i got this suggestion from one of my viewer and uh, i'm very thankful for this particular suggestion so you can use a simple paper or you can use watercolor sheet as well i'm using simple pen pencil and eraser so let's start uh, with uh, some points which we need to consider while drawing this so basically while creating uh, petals the end should not be pointed like this so i'm creating three petals here all with the pointed end so we don't want this we want little cuts and curves around the tip or maybe uh, it is uh, in the round shape or oval shape but should not be very pointed otherwise it will look like it is a sunflower so something like this you can draw a little texture around the tip or round shape but not the pointed so this is something we needed the second point we need to consider is uh, let's create all the petals in same size and same shape so this is not incorrect you can draw like this also but as per my perspective if we draw petals in different sizes and different shapes it gives you more uh, depth in your uh, drawing so something like this we can draw uh, while creating our flowers now the third point is mm, let's assume this is the ovary so let's draw the ovary first so we need to draw a small small u shape inverted u shape so that it will look like it has multiple small small petals around the ovary and then the little dots likewise you can create the ovary of the flower and then you can also end up with the smaller smaller petals around it so if you look into the daisy flower you can see the small small uh, petals around the ovary so you can add uh, the smaller petals also a layer of smaller petals and then the layer of bigger petals now the third thing is to make it multi layer you can draw two petals and behind or in between these two petals you can add one more petal so the this the third petal is covered by the two petals which we can see from the front so we have total five petals so two petals are not visible three petals are visible so something like this we need to consider so now let's create the first uh, perspective so this is the flower bird i'm creating it little bigger so that it is visible uh, to everyone so divide this into equal halves and then lower section divide again and keep this particular area for the sepals sepals are the green texture below your flowers and the stems so let's create the sepals first i'm creating it little bigger so that it is visible for you people and i'm only focusing on how to draw different perspective of the flower i'm not going in detail i'm not beautifying my drawing i'm just trying to explain you how you can draw your flower into this into different perspective now let's create some petals so i want my petals to be little curved and uh, so that it will look like it is uh, a group of multiple petals packed uh, together and ready to bloom so all petals are not in uh, straight uh, in direction or standing you can also draw uh, some petals in tilted towards left and right but only one or two you can add and then multiple smaller and bigger petals around it and then just finish your drawing with the help of simple pen i'm using very simple pen ball pen so i'm drawing it uh, again and then i am going to rub all the unwanted pencil marks
for now i am keeping the sepals little dark so that we can see the difference uh, between the sepals and the petals the first one was the bird now the second one is like facing towards the sky so i'm going to show you two different ways to uh, draw this perspective so the first one is quite simple we need to draw an oval shape in the uh, horizontal uh, line and then keep this particular area for the sepals as we can see all the petals but we are not able to see the ovary of the flower so that's the difference so create the sepals first and then let's focus on the petals so we can see the petals only but not the ovary so what we are going to do here is we are going to create few main petals so two or three bigger petals in the center like this and then few more petals towards left and towards right so these are our main petals and then add multiple smaller smaller petals or thin thin petals towards left and towards right do not cover center part uh, and just try to uh, uh, draw your petals in the left and the right direction only you can add multiple petals So I so I'm not adding much petals in between. I'm adding multiple petals towards left towards right. So as you can see, the perspective of the flowers is towards the sky. It is fully bloomed flower, but we cannot see the ovary of the flower. Now let's finish this with the pen, and then we will rub all the pencil marks. the only point we need to consider here is you have to create few bigger petals in between and then smaller petals around it now we are done with uh, the second perspective as well now i'm going to show you a different perspective which is facing towards the sky only but we can see the ovary of the flower so you can create either circle you can also create oval shape in the horizontal line so i'm creating circle for now i'm dividing this into four equal halves and then considering the upper area i'm creating the ovary so this is ovary of the flower and then so this one is also facing towards the sky so what we have to do here is create two bigger petals towards left and towards right like this so these are the two main petals from which we are getting our perspective and then maybe one or two petals which is bigger in size in the lower direction i'm not adding any bigger petal in the middle section in this particular area so let's add smaller smaller petals around it and then fill the other area with the in between petals i'm keeping uh, this particular area for this stem so don't add uh, petals around this so as you can see this is also facing towards the sky but we can see the ovary of the flower and all the petals are towards right and towards left direction few petals are in the center but those are smaller in size you can add bigger petals in the lower section but do not add bigger petals in the above section because it will not going to look like uh, this is facing towards the sky so that's the difference now finish this with the help of pen and then we will rub the uh, pencil mark also do not forget to create the ovary of the flower like very small small texture around it to make it look like this the ovary and we are done with this perspective as well the only thing you need to consider is two or three bigger bigger petals towards left towards right and smaller petals 
in the center now let's create the fourth perspective so i'm creating an oval shape and tilt it towards the left side because my perspective is towards the left side uh, we can see the ovary of the flower so i have divided this into two equal halves and then creating the ovary of the flower to the above section i think we need a bigger uh, area for the above section as well you can definitely adjust whenever needed and then stems so in this particular perspective we need petals around the ovary but we are seeing the back of the petals for the lower section so this is like tilted towards the left that we are seeing the back of petals so create petals like this and then same in the same direction we have to create more petals for the above area for the other half so as you can see in the lower section we are seeing the back of the petals and in the upper section we are seeing the ovary and the front of the petals so consider it like we have one more ovary here and we are creating petals so half of the ovary is covered with the petals and half of the ovary we can see you can also add smaller sepals as well and finish this with the pen and rub the pencil mark so what we have to consider in this particular perspective is we can see the ovary but half of the ovary we can see all the petals but few petals we, we are seeing from the back and this is tilted towards the left side you can also draw same perspective in different different direction the only difference is your oval shape is in which direction and where is your ovary so let me show you one more perspective here this is facing towards the downside so what i did i created the oval shape in the left direction itself but i created the ovary in the lower section now let's draw the fifth perspective the fifth perspective is we are seeing the back of the flower it means we are seeing only the back of the petals and the sepals we are not seeing the ovary so create a smaller circle uh, inside the bigger circle and cover that particular area for the sepals and add a stem like this now let's start adding petals i don't have much rule for this particular perspective you can add petals as per your need bigger smaller whatever you like just make sure you are adding sepals to make it look like we are seeing the back of the flower few smaller petals and then we can finish this with the help of pen and rub all the pencil mark this one is quite simple this is same as front perspective but instead of ovary we are creating sepals and the stems now the sixth one is quite simple we have to start with the ovary first create a big ovary then the in the lower section add petals few smaller few bigger could be of same size totally up to you like this and then we can add a stem and finish the ovary this one is the simplest perspective anyone can draw a smaller smaller u shape kind of for the ovary and dots to finish this 
i'm not going to show you the front perspective because that one is quite simple you just need to create a over in the round shape and then fill that particular round shape with the multiple petals around it so that's the simple perspective so i'm not going to show you that or maybe i can show you in the rough uh, page so this is what we have so make the ovary first smaller petals around the ovary and then add bigger petals around it you don't have to think about direction of the petals you don't have to think about uh, the size and shape that's just add the petals to make it look like this is facing towards you so this is bird uh, this is like facing towards the sky facing towards the sky but we can see the ovary tilted towards the left we can see the petals back of the petals back of the flower and a little different perspective that everybody knows about it so hope you have liked this video i'm hoping this video is helpful for you guys and do let me know if you guys have any feedback for me and thank you so much for all your love and support and thank you so much for watching see you guys in the next video